Hi everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how I I will install EVNG, which I've been wanting to to do. So let me share my screen. All right. So I prepared this procedure, and I tried to. I mean, I made it step by step, so that. Uh, and you can just uh, follow the steps. So I listed a couple of prerequisites, and this is, you know, the first uh, question that you should have, right, when you're trying to install a an application or software on your computer. So you have to make sure that you have the uh, recommended hardware requirements. So that uh, you know that you know the 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 application will perform as expected, and it's not gonna uh, cause your laptop to slow down or something like that. So these these are the requirements or recommended hardware requirements. So you have to have a CPU that supports VTX this, and you have to make sure that this is enabled on the BIOS on the. Uh, yeah, on the BIOS, and you have to uh, have at least Windows 10, 11, or Linux to desktop. And you have to have VMware Workstation 5.0 or later, or VMware Player 15.0 or later installed on your computer. There's a link at the uh, Eve website to download the to download VMware Workstation Player which is free and this is the link so I will put this these steps in the description of this video so first you have to download the free Eve community edition version download the free Eve community edition version from the Eve ng website and I think I have it open here yeah this one here and in my case, I'm going to I'm going to download this. I have already downloaded it and save it on my local on my laptop. But uh, for the sake of uh, demonstrating it, I will do it again. And it's now downloading, it says here. And next is, <clears throat> once you have downloaded the version, and in my case, I am downloading this version, 5.0.1 slash 19. And let me add it here, just... So once you have downloaded it, like like I said, you have to open uh, your VMware Workstation Pro or Player uh, installed on your laptop. So um, this part I'm not gonna do because this is not really uh, part of installing the Eve NG itself. So I just listed it as one of the pre prerequisites. So I have uh, my Workstation 15.5 Pro is uh, open here, and I'm going to import. Yeah, this is the this is the version that I mean. This is the file which is the eve-ng or obf file that I downloaded and save here in this directory. So I'm going to import it and just click import. gonna take a few seconds so while that's doing I mean it's doing that um, the next step is to edit the VM settings so we have to you have to wait
Uh, looks like it's still importing. So let me see if I can talk about something else here. So yeah, I I have references here. Uh, the first thing that I did uh, was to before installing, you know, um, uh, EVNG because I already tried this myself. I just just uh, trying to make this video just to show you guys. So the first thing that I did was to watch this video from David Bumble and read the cookbook, which is, this is the link here. And there are a bunch of documentation at the Eve NG website that you can watch and, <clears throat> and uh, read. And there's also a nodes per lab calculator. This is to make sure that, you know, your system will not be, will not get overwhelmed. Uh, by you know creating a huge lab for example let me see if it's done already yeah it's done so the first i mean the next step is like i said edit the vm settings so this is the default uh, vm state so powered off and this is where the it's it is installed and yeah, other details. So let me go ahead and edit the settings here. So my laptop has a 16 gig memory. So this is, so I'm gonna let VM, I mean the EVM use eight gig and prior sources, I'm gonna make this two here. I'm gonna make two and you have to, this is part of the prerequisites prerequisites enable this feature here, uh, VTX <clears throat> um, or EPT or AMD-V uh, slash RVI. And the hard disk is fine. So network adapter, since I'm using a laptop, a laptop, I'm going to use this feature, NAT. Check here. Yeah, so NAT is recommended for laptops, and then click OK. And then powered on, power on the VM and log into it using, log into the CLI and configure the network settings. Okay, powered on. Give it a minute. Okay, so username is, I'm not sure why it's doing that actually. That's gonna take a few more uh, seconds. They have to probably look at this. Um, so I think it's an issue, but it's going to continue anyway. So this is the IP address here that I can use to, I mean, I can type into the browser. Click enter. No, not yet. Let me go back to my notes. Yeah, I listed the network settings here. So basically root password is something that you have to set yourself and you have to remember. Host name is, in my case, I'm going to use the default one. DNS is the default one as well. I don't really uh, uh, have to worry about it. And it, in my case, I'm going to use DHCP to assign an IP address to the <clears throat> management, as, as the management IP. And NTP server, I don't really need to worry about that. Proxy server configuration, I don't have any proxy servers, so I'm going to use direct. 
me go back. Yeah, now it's done. Okay, so root password, I have to set it twice. I'm going to use the default host name, DNS name, and DNS domain name, default as well. And I'm going to use DHCP, like I said, and just click OK. And then I'm not, I don't have to worry about the MTP server and direct connection. Done. I just have to wait for it to finish. Okay, now I can, the next step is get the management IP from the CLI, which is that IP. So let me Type that IP address 192.168.1.1.1. I mean, 111.129. And I go type this into the browser. And here, the username is the default username is admin, password is Eve, and I'm going to choose. HTML5 console. So admin eve that and login or sign in. And next step is I'm going to add a new lab just to test that um, my eve, I mean eve ng is working as expected. Where is it? This. So my first lab. Save. I'm going to add two nodes, which is, <clears throat> so all the green ones are, meaning they don't have images installed on them. So I'm just going to use virtual PC and add two of them. Now we connect though, I mean, these to each other. You can't do that, okay. So you can specify the interface for each and there's only one interface on them. And then start them. So I'm going to add, I mean, configure an IP address on each of them. So I can just double click on one of them, IP address. One two five five dot two five five dot two five five. Whoops. Dot zero. And assign the other one as well. Assign an IP address as well here. Done. Going to ping the other virtual PC which has this IP address and I can ping it. Okay, so now we have tested that EVNG is working as expected and uh, we have now successfully installed EVNG and tested it. So that's it in this video and thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.